Well, hello. This will be a moto bomb. Let's figure it out ourselves. How to video. Not exactly true. I have watched several other how to videos. So you're going to get, who knows, second or third generation of how to. Maybe it'll improve by watching other videos and figuring out just how I might want to do this. Anyway, I'm going to give this a shot. I think I've set up uh, a table here, some tools you'll need. Of course, you know, we'll list all that stuff because you're going to need a list, right? Should be pretty self-explanatory. And I got this wonderful table out. Put some nice cardboard underneath so when I go to cut this uh, foam out, which you'll see um, what I'll need that for. After we take this apart, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get all these wonderful little staples out. I've already started prying a few up and uh, I'm going to continue that process all the way around. Let's get to it. Thank goodness we have editing, right? It'll speed this process up along. But I'm going to catch it all here, just in case we find something real interesting. And usually when you're doing something for your first time, you find something very interesting. <laughs> I uh, just made a trip to go look at my, I got a 2004 R1 that I've been slowly... And I've replaced so much stuff on it, and now it's in the shop, probably be there for a little while. The stator blew up, right? That's a 600, eight, 900, you know, thousand dollar adventure. Who knows what after absolute performance, right? Joel and his crew down there always, always have taken care of me 100% all the way. Yep, and super friendly. You go there, you feel like your family, and you feel like you get, your stuff is gonna be taken care of, you know? They take care of me, I try to take care of them best I can. Yeah. See, all I'm really doing right now is pulling out one side, and then I'll go around with a, uh, whew, uh, needle nose pliers and pop them all out. Should pull back my hair too. You know, dangling down, probably blocking the view. Good Lord. Mm -hmm. You must move your sodas and stuff out of the way so you don't elbow them over. You make a uh, spectacle out of yourself. <laughs> That's easily done. Easily done for the motobomb Virginia guy. The name's Dean, by the way. Pleased to meet you all. It'd be really cool if this little, little escapade, little video actually helps somebody out. Never really done a how-to. It's like I always uh, worried about, is my area going to be clean enough? No, I got a mess, okay? But it's real. It's, it's, it's how I work. It's what I have. I'm not uh, trying to make some beautiful, pretty little, uh, like I just worked in a sterile lab doing surgery uh, video. I don't know anybody who really does this does that. This is pretty comfortable. We'll see how it uh, how it looks in the end. I'll be excited to get it out there and see if we get any uh, get any feedback. I mean, definitely. See anything that I can do do better. And if you already know that, you're probably not watching this video.
but some of us learn on the fly. You're like, okay, I know what I need to do, but maybe doing this over here would be a little better, a little more efficient. And I can't wait to see what it looks like underneath. Let me get rid of all these staples. So, the list of things here, you know, of course a needle nose is great. A small little flat tip that you can get underneath your uh, staples with. Uh, I'll show you what I'd be using these uh, markers and possibly the pen for uh, in just a minute. I didn't know if I'd need a pliers. And, you know, some replacement blades. There it is. Yeah. You might want to use a, a, a regular carpenter's uh, utility knife is what it's called so that you can set your depth. And I might just go get one of those myself. So when I cut into this foam, which you're about to see shortly, after I measure it out, do a bunch of stuff, make sure I have a, a good layout so I don't mess up my my one and only seat. My other one is, uh, it's pretty comfy, really. I mean, it don't bother me. But I see all these cool videos and things that you can make a little bit nicer, make your stuff a little more um, enjoyable. Well, I am all about that. I like these challenges. I didn't quite get all the staples. So let's see what's underneath here. This is going to be interesting. 2004 seat. I bet that's uh, got some history. I know she got some miles on it. Mm-hmm. Here's what it looks like. Got a little hole there. Could use a new covering. Yeah. But this is really, uh, really old. Now we're going to figure out how we're going to lay this nice jelly foam. You can get this off eBay for about 25 bucks. And I've uh, got some other foam right over here. And another table I'll set up. I bought that foam to go over top of the jelly and underneath the upholstery I just took off. I need most of my, my padding pretty much. Probably right up here. So I have to make a, a U here and all kinds of stuff. It's going to take some figuring. All right, give you a little step by step so far what I've been doing. I had to mark out the perimeter of what, where I want the pad. I don't always see people put it down on the side. I'm going to do it. So I'm kind of short. Um, and that way when I'm at a stoplight, whatever. I have a little extra padding on the inside, uh, my inseam too. So, you know, might as well make it, uh, use as much of this as I can. And then up here, you just put a center line down, right? And uh, trace the outside to get, uh, to get that on. Put a center line down my seat as well, right here. And uh, my plan is, is to do all one side, hopefully flip this over and uh, make a duplicate and, and do this side so that I get this curve basically the same as this curve. Is it that technical? Probably not. But if you want to try to make something the best you can, give 150% and you might get an 80% job. All right, I've been working on cutting this. I found a fresh blade, obviously, uh, will help. And just a loose blade. And you want to make sure you don't go too deep. You only want to go about as deep as that gel. 
I put a mark on the uh, the blade a while ago. I have it on this because I pretty much know about where it goes. But if you need to put a mark on the blade, just get a marker. Right? Get a marker. See how deep, see how deep this is? Boom. Boom. I'll give you a general idea about how deep you need to go. You can tell where I used the more dull one. I've got little spots that just didn't want to cut clean. So definitely make sure, just start out with a fresh blade right away. I usually see people do about a half inch up to an inch uh, increments. I should just do both sides at the same time here. All right, so I finished uh, pretty much marking everything out. Wasn't sure how I wanted to get the arc on this side. I did a measurement in a little freehand. Should be, should be very close. I made lots of cuts. I haven't finished cutting these. I will. And then I'll start pulling the stuff out. I figure the more smaller pieces, right, the more detail you can get without taking a big chunk out of the bottom too deep or anything. Because it has to be right. So that's how I'm doing it. That's how we're going with it. All right, I found something that's been kind of helpful for the depth. You know, I had to flip to this side because it was sharper. And you just put your finger down in there. Once you start your your uh, cut, make sure she's and just push push your finger right on the tip. You can come right on across. Pretty slick and clean. And you know you'll be pretty much at the right depth. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to finish cutting these up. I just wanted to show you a good amount of them. You know, sometimes I like to be reassured what you're doing. Not saying I know what I'm doing, but you can learn from what I'm doing. All right. As you see, I finished carving out all the inside stuff. Have what I want on the, uh, the seat now. What I did after we made all those cuts to plane this down nice and easy, I took the side of the blade and brushed it and crisscrossed it. it. Came up nice and close to the edge so you pull out your edges so to make sure your edges aren't higher. And just kept an eyeball on everything and cleaned it up. If I had problems, I took and I scored really lightly a bunch of a bunch of areas that were high and then went across it this way again and then scraped that helped pull it off real nice and easy I didn't I don't have no big chunks taken out or nothing everything looks like it's going to be great I'll take this uh, this plastic part off at least for the bottom it should be a little bit tacky and uh, Place it on the seat. Yeah, that's super tacky. All right, this is the foam that's going to go over. So I'm just going to kind of roughly cut this stuff out. I'll learn with this. All right? That stuff is so sticky. And if you got to handle it at all, like when you want to press this stuff down, like this corner, you better get your hand wet as this stuff will stick and, and just counter work against you. All right, let's see how that works. Yeah. Don't want to be afraid of the old uh, licking your fingers and getting a little bit of extra protein. And vitamins. Okay. Sea source. Let's see what we can do. Let's 
see if that'll help keep it in place. And this will probably make it look not very appealing, but I'm not going to see this, right? So that extra coating that's on top of that gel pad, yeah, I would recommend leave it on. No touch. Leave it the heck alone. Don't ever touch it. Okay. Few sores. Let's see if this makes a difference. I'm thinking that will help a lot. Go start right there. All right, made a lot of progress since uh, I last started this project. I got everything put on. That should be a lot more padding. The only problem is my recommendation, go buy you a whole brand new seat to start this project with. I have a 2004 R1. The foam was a bit dry rotted. Uh, it was split all along here. So this was like kind of crappy. Probably can show you in my previous video shots. And from this rubbing on the tank over here, it left a little hole. So now I got a nice outer cosmetic hole that used to be down here that's now over here. And I don't think it's because I got it so much. Maybe I could have shifted things over a little bit. But uh, what the problem is, is having this extra foam all on top it, it, it takes up more space so gotta factor that in if i left this off i'd probably been okay but i wanted it on i want the comfort and uh i'm gonna buy a whole new seat and i'm gonna do this project over i can use my same inlet uh insert i mean the gel pad cut it all in a new foam Start out with a nice new uh, covering. I already know what to do. And I got a little backup seat for later. So, should work. Anyway, thanks for suffering with me on this video. I hope after I uh, put it all together for you, it'll be something helpful and informative. And uh, I can subscribe to that Motobomb channel. I could use the help. It's just something. Isn't that something? <laughs> Bye.